After everything that was going on with the Hoover, I called a meeting with a couple of my soldiers. Listen up, them niggas want a war, so that's what we gonna give them. These are streets and they been for a while now. Ain't no little upstarts finna stop this movement. I need everybody here to get their crews together. We taking over all they block. The final push starts in two days, gang. Now I got faith that each and every one of y'all gonna show up and show out for the car. We ride and die together through the good, the bad, and the ugly. And when it's over, we gonna continue to get money on them clients. Now while I'm talking, y'all, I know this my little cousin G-Stone keeps staring at the nigga's side. Everybody make sure y'all spots reinforced. We ain't taking no more losses. Let's show these clowns how sick souls roll. So the next day, y'all, I'm at my trash spot in East Low. We had just got another ship in there. That's when I seen my mama get addicted. I had dropped out of school. She kind of needed assistance. At 15, I came home from juvenile detention. My uncle gave me a gun. I put that bitch in my britches. Now I'm sitting there looking at everything, y'all. Man, I felt like I was on top of the world, no lie. I thought, it's time for me to do something nice for the family, man. Plus, I wanted to holler at my little cousin G-Stone about yesterday. So I had told him to pull up on me. What's cracking, little cuz? Everything good with you? We ain't really had no time to talk lately with everything going on. I just wanted to check your memory. And shit been crazy. I just wish your pops was still here with us. Yeah, cuz. Everything been good. Appreciate you again for giving me this opportunity. I got some bread for you, too. Damn, cuz. You in here looking like the one. And I can't wait until I get to your level, man. I ain't never seen this much shit at once. Your cuz brought me 30 rights, y'all. Damn, cuz. You been out here doing your thing with the trees, I see. I'm proud of you, boy. And you definitely your pop son. Now, I know he'd be proud of you, too, if he was still here with us. I think it might be time for you to take that next step. What you think? You ready to step up to the plate, young nigga? Damn, cuz. Ain't nobody ever told me that they was proud of me. And I appreciate that. Especially coming from you. And I'm just trying not to let you down. You changed my life. And I ain't never think I'd be touching this much paper in my life. And as far as taking that next step... Hell yeah, you know I'm ready, cuz. That's what I like to hear. Matter of fact, look, cuz, come take a ride with me, young nigga. Hey, right, cuz, hold the spot down for me. I'll be back in a couple of hours so we can get everything together. So what's really going on, little cuz? I peeped you yesterday. Why was you staring at the nigga's sock so hard at the meat? If there's something going on, you need to put me in the loop. Alright, cuz. So you remember I told you them niggas robbed me about a week ago. Well, 
when I tracked them down, the last one told me it was the nigga socks that put him up to it for some shit that happened in the past. But I don't think he know yet that I know. So now I'm trying to figure out how I'm finna take him out the game. Yeah, cuz. I'm glad you told me that. He might be Lamar homie, but you family. And ain't nobody gonna play with family. We gonna get cuz out the way. Just let me come up with a plan so we can make it look like something else. Just killing the nigga outright might split my organization up. So we pull up on Rodeo, y'all. I'm finna take Lil' Cuz to Vangelico. He don't even know. Yeah, cuz, we finna get you together, little nigga. Just follow me. How you doing, ma'am? I'm here to pick up an order for Franklin. I got a call that it was ready. It's for my little cousin right here. We finna get him ice. It's already paid, bro. She like, all right, let me go grab it from the back. Yeah, I got that little nigga together, y'all. He was out here shining like new money. Talking about diamonds busting everywhere. Next time we go out, you ain't gonna be the only one without a chain now. This is just the beginning, look, cuz. You thought this was something? Just wait. Your day finna get better and better. So we end up pulling back up to the hood, y'all. You see that spot right there? From now on, that's gonna be your trap spot. But you get money how you is, you ain't gonna be able to hide that from your mom for too long. I got something else for you too, look, cuz. Step out the car real quick. Let's take a walk to the garage. You really gonna like this. Man, cuz. I don't know what to say. Whatever it is at this point, it's just extra. You already put me on, got my jury game together, and gave me a crib. I can never repay you for none of this. Like, you really wanna see me win. You did for me in a month. No more than anybody did my whole life. I owe, cuz I'm the reason this pop's gone. Yeah, I got him that charge with the Corleones on that thing, y'all. With the blue gut. So what you think, cuz? Huh? You feeling this? Welcome to the SRT game. And I couldn't have you out here the only one without one. Man, cuz, this thing so nasty. I can't believe you did this. Man, hold on. I gotta check this thing out. And I'm finna tear the streets up. If they ain't like me already, they really gonna hate a young nigga now. Man, I'm finna be bagging all they broads. Yeah, he was clowning in that thing, y'all. I was glad to see my young nigga happy. I mean, that's what we was getting money for, man. To make sure our people was good.
Now that we got the fun out the way, let's get the business. I got big expectations for you, little cuz. Let's go check out your new trap. Now check this out, little cuz. I like how you making that tree move. You way better at it than I was. So I still want you selling that. I'm gonna give you another bell. But I'm also gonna give you two bricks of that white. You still think you can handle this? It's the grown man game. Any questions? Cause once I leave here, you on your own. But just know, I got nothing but faith in you. Hell no, cuz. I got this, man. After everything you did for me, my nigga, I'll die for you at this point. Like you said, I'm my pop son. This hustling shit in my blood. Don't even trip. These bricks finna be gone so fast. And you one of the only people that ain't just look at me like a crash dummy and tried to help me for real. You the realest nigga out here, cuz. I know you gonna make me proud, but don't die for me, young nigga. Live your life. I want you to be able to sit at the top of the world like me. You got a lot of potential. You might be the one. And don't worry about socks. We still gonna get that clown out the way. I promise you that. The feds was pissed after they star witness got assassinated. Man, they boss was tearing them a new ass, sure. Listen, partner, we can't let these fucks win. I'm tired of the deputy director yelling at us. We gotta do whatever we gotta do to get this scum Franklin and his crew off the streets. The gloves are off now. Yeah, that sounds good, Rook. At this point, I'm down for whatever. But what bright ideas do you got to take these assholes out? We've done everything, and somehow they still manage to evade us. You let me handle that. We've done things your way up until this point. Now it's time to let me work. I got a plan. When it goes down, I just need you to back me. Franklin's going down. Little did I know how low down and dirty the feds to get to get a conviction, y'all. Man, this fool went to the police station in Mission Row to get some evidence out of their evidence locker.
And then came and planted the shit in my car. Oh, but it get worse than that game. After all that, man, this fool caught an anonymous tip in on me on the police. So later on that night, y'all, I was about to step out and hit the town and pick my little boo thing up, you feel me? But I still had the war on my mind that was coming in the next day. I also had how I was going to knock socks off and make it seem like the Hoovers did it. But baby was going to relieve some of the stress that I had. Now while I'm driving, I pass by a cop, y'all. And as soon as I pass him, he whip out and turn his lights on. But I'm thinking, I'm good. Anything I got in the secret stash department, they ain't finna find nothing. How you doing tonight, sir? This is a nice car. Why were you speeding up when you seen me? Man, look, I definitely wasn't speeding, sir. I know the speed limit around here. But I gotta ask, is it any real reason why you pulled me over other than you was curious? You're not gonna find anything in this car. Well, I'll be the judge of that, buddy. Those tents made me think you got something to hide. Do you mind stepping out the car real fast so I can search it? No, go ahead. Do your thing. Damn, I guess you can't be a black man with nothing nice in California. I ain't got nothing to hide from you. When you don't find nothing, I'm calling my lawyer. It's gonna be real nice putting a harassment suit on the LAPD. Man, y'all, this fool put a black duffel bag out my trunk. I ain't never seen that before. This wasn't the car to ride with the work in. You wanna tell me what's in the bag before I open it? Man, y'all, I ain't know what the fuck was going on. He found two pounds of ice and a Glock with a switch on it in the bag. Yeah, that looks like something to hide. I can't help you now, son. You're going to jail. Man, I had never seen that bag in my life, y'all. That's crazy. How I know you ain't plant that in my trunk just so you can pull me over and help hey, homie, get a bus for your career? All, but... After that, y'all, he upped his gun and got to read me my Miranda rights. Maybe, like, point the other way? It was crazy, y'all. I'm sitting there talking trash to him because I'm knowing this some bullshit, man. I don't even sell ice, like I said. So he get me in the car. He really think he accomplished something, y'all. He trying to talk trash to me. I ain't saying nothing without my lawyer present. And they got me downtown and took my mug shot, y'all. I be trying to do right, but the police be trying to embarrass me. Another mug shot. Here they go laughing at a nigga pain. And they threw your boy in the cell. I was in that thing, pissed off, y'all. But I knew my lawyer was on his way to bail me out. About an hour later, my lawyer got there, y'all. I was so happy to see him. He get to talking to the guard about bailing me out. Then he come talk to me. And this some bullshit. They planted that on me. I pay you a lot of money. You better be able to get me out of here. And when you do... 
We gonna sue these motherfuckers for everything they got. That's a promise. And my lawyer get to telling me, he like, listen, don't worry about nothing. I just talked to the guard. I'm getting the paperwork together right now. You should be out of here in the next 20 minutes. That's what you pay me the big bucks for, right? I'm thinking good, because whoever did this shit finna pay. So they still over there talking, you feel me? Trying to get everything together. And I'm thinking, yeah, we finna find out who did this. When all of a sudden, you know, the feds walk in. I'm like, what the fuck they doing here? So they talking. And the black fed say, this guy's not going anywhere. He has a federal hold on him. So my lawyer's sitting out there arguing with him. I'm thinking, ain't this about a bitch? I told you we were going to put you in a cage, boy. How does it feel to be locked down just like a zoo animal? You're never getting out of here. Hey, fuck you, Rook. Y'all ain't got nothing on me. As far as I know... Y'all probably the ones that planted that shit in my car. And y'all really play a dirty game, huh? Whatever to get your man to sell. And y'all ain't got no integrity. So my lawyer come back, y'all, and he tell me, Sorry, Franklin. There's nothing I can do. With this federal hold on you, it doesn't matter how much money you got. These pigs can keep you in here as long as they want. Man, y'all, I was in disbelief. All this money and I was helpless. All I could do now, y'all, was talk to God. And hope for the best. I was in a situation where nothing could save me but him. We asked for a speedy trial. So two weeks later, I was in court. I hired another lawyer to make sure we won. All my people was in attendance. Including the officer that pulled me over. And the feds. The prosecution was trying to win this case, y'all, and the judge looked mean as hell. I knew I had a fight. The prosecution got up there and tried to paint me as a menace to society, basically. I'm just sitting there like, damn, now how do we get here? They told the judge that they wanted to call a police officer that pulled me over to the stand to testify. The officer told the judge that they got an anonymous tip to be on the lookout for a green Hellcat Charger with a gun and some drugs in it. And when I heard that, I knew this was a setup, but I couldn't say nothing to incriminate myself. After that, y'all, my lawyer got up there and tried to discredit the officer. My other lawyer got up there and told the court that I was a businessman and a humanitarian that did good for the community in South Central, and I would never participate in any type of drug dealing. After that, y'all, the prosecution called the feds to the stand. I knew they was finna do me dirty. 
they told the judge that I was a menace to society and that I was responsible for over 20 murders, millions of dollars worth of drugs, and that I ran one of the biggest organizations in the U.S. and they had their own separate case against me. At the end of the case, y'all, the judge sentenced me to 20 years, 10 for the switch, and 5 for each pound of meth that they found in my car. I couldn't believe this shit, y'all. I was really sitting in a prison cell again, but I was innocent this time. Just know, this ain't the last y'all heard of the boy Big Frank. I had been sitting in prison for two weeks now, gang, and your boy was going through it in there. Only thing on my mind was getting up out of there and finding whoever set me up. I barely even left my cell since I had been there. My celly was this cool old nigga named Ralph. He used to bang the set, but he had all day, so he dropped out. It was a few key players in this thing, y'all. You had Alberto Ramos. He was the leader of the Mexican Mafia in here. They was the deepest on the compound and the strongest. Then you had Thomas Ulrich. He was the leader of the Aryan Brotherhood. They had the least members, but a lot of power. Then you had this dude named Rio. He was calling the shots for the Lopes in here. They had potential, but I ain't think they was using it right. Hey, Clinton, rise and shine. I'm told you got three visits today, so get your ass up and follow me. When I get there, y'all, my lawyer waiting on me. Hey, Frank, how's it going, buddy? They treating you good in here? Listen, we're doing everything we can to get you out of here. I got it all handled, so don't even worry about it. How the fuck do you think I'm doing? I'm sitting in here for a crime that I didn't commit. I gotta go to sleep around killers, robbers, and rapists. What the fuck am I paying you for again? Because you definitely ain't getting me the results that a $100,000 retainer supposed to get you. Maybe I should fire your ass and hire somebody else. Listen, Frank, I understand your frustration, but I got your appeal paperwork in. It should be any day now. Next, I had a visit from this chick I hadn't seen in years named Keisha. Baby was from the hood. Long time no see, Frank. I'm kind of sad you ain't called me when you was out, but I'm glad you agreed to this because it was important. What did I do to you, though, honestly, Frank? Girl, last time I got locked up, you ain't keep it solid. Six months into my bed, you stopped visiting and stopped answering my calls. That shit hurt. I loved you. Only reason I agreed to this today is because after I read your letter, this was important to me. Franklin, it was hard outside without you, believe me, but I got bills. But it's somebody that I want you to meet. Come here, Deuce. This your son, Franklin Clinton Jr. Deuce, meet your dad, Big Frank. 99.9. .9. We got the results back a couple days ago. He looked just like you, don't he? How you doing, Deuce? It's nice to finally meet you, son. I wish it wasn't under these circumstances, but it is. I heard you like basketball. That's what's up. I used to be pretty good as a kid, too. And I see you got the chain of earrings I bought you. I hope you like them, man. Honestly, I still can't believe I got a son. Shorty get to telling me that he need his dad in his life. She like, Frank, I want him to be better than me and you. I tell her, listen, don't worry about that. I'm going to be out of here sooner than you think. And when I do, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure both of y'all forever straight. After that, my cousin aunt come. I hadn't seen cousin over a month. And yeah, listen, cuz, I'm happy to finally see you. Shit ain't been the same without you on the streets. Everybody miss you, but I need you to set up a meeting. It's getting ugly for us. I got some worse news too, though, man. Cuz, Lamar missing. Ain't nobody talked to him since last night. I can't really go into details right now, though. 
Nigga, what the fuck you mean my brother missing? And quit playing with me, cuz. I'm going through enough shit right now. Y'all niggas better get out there and find, bro. And I ain't playing. And as far as your meeting go, once I get my feet really planted in here, I'll make some calls and see what I can do about this. Man, cuz, I know you going through it right now. I am too. I love that nigga with everything in me. And I'm going to tear these streets up until we get them back safe and sound. But without the money, it's going to be hard to make shit shake in the streets. That's why I need the meeting. I think I know responsible for this shit too. But we can't talk about this right here, right now. Man, y'all, he had pissed me off. I just walked away. When I got back to my cell, I was sitting there fucked up, feeling helpless as fuck. Just thinking about my son and Lamar, and I couldn't do nothing for either of them while I was in here. Then my celly got up like, what's going on, little cuz? You look more stressed than usual. You can talk to me. Man, OG, I'm going through some shit you wouldn't even understand right now. I got a son out there. I got to take care of. That's important to me because I ain't have my pops and my big brother missing. And all I can do is sit in here on my ass. He like, man, listen. That is a lot, little homie. But stop stressing about shit you can't control. That ain't going to help you out. And you right, I don't understand. I done been in here for 15 years. But what I know is you got to do the time. Don't let the time do you. I'm like, I hear what you saying, but that shit easier said than done. I was having my way out there in the streets. Now, while we in there chopping it up, the CEO walk up. It's time for lunch. Get up and get dressed. I'm good, CEO. I ain't hungry today. Boy, you ain't got a choice. Man, come on. I'm going through something right now. Boy, if you don't get up and get dressed, I'm going to beat your ass and you're going to wish you would have listened to me. I ain't gonna tell you the shit again. All right, here I come. So I go into the cafeteria, y'all. When I walk in there, they ain't serving nothing but bullshit. Man, I'm used to five course meals. I don't know what this shit was. Little did I know, I had a bunch of eyes on me in that thing. While I'm trying to decide what I want, I get approached. Hey, puto. Your name's Franklin? You got a cousin named Little Ant? I got a bone to pick with you, Holmes. Since we can't touch your cousin right now, I guess you'll have to do. Domingo was my best friend, and I'm not taking that shit lightly. You can't deny it. We already heard about your little visit, Holmes. Yeah, that's my little cousin. And what? Y'all clowns ain't finna shake nothing around this bitch. Whatever he did, I okayed it. El Diablo was standing in our way of expansion. At the end of the day, I'm a one-man fucking army. Whatever y'all finna do, y'all better do it. That's all I was waiting to hear, Holmes. You're gonna pay now. Hell no, Jose, cuz with us now. So if you think you gonna do anything, you got a problem with all of us. And y'all already know how I get down. We can all die right now. I think you need to stand down, homie. This shit ain't got nothing to do with you, Rio. Butt out, Holmes. This guy has a lot to answer for, and nobody's gonna stop this from happening, not even you. Well, that's too bad, Jose. Bust some old in. We ready. Appreciate your help, little homie, but I can handle these clowns myself. I got a lot of frustration I need to take out anyways. Breaking their faces seem like the perfect way. While we arguing, you ought to see your walk over to us. We got a problem, fellas. Y'all need to break this up now. Otherwise, I'm going to go upside all y'all heads. Nah, everything good, CO. Ain't that right, Jose? Yeah, we're good, CO. Good, that's what I like to hear. So clear this shit up and go sit y'all asses down. Hey, OG, you can come sit at our table. I got to chop it up with you anyways. If it ain't the man, the myth, the legend, Big Frank. A lot of us young niggas from the set look up to you, OG. And I recently found out you the homie G-Stone cousin. 
I love that nigga like a brother, so it was only right for me to step in and have your back. Oh, you know my little cousin? And that's what's up, Lo. And I appreciate you for what you did. That was some real solid shit. And you definitely ain't have to do that. Man, don't mention it, OG. That was nothing. We done had an uneasy peace treaty with these fools since I got here. But with that situation, it's over. Jose ain't gonna let this go. But finish your tray and we can talk more on the yard. So we on the yard chopping it up. And he break it down to me like this, y'all. He tell me, the Mexicans run the weight pit, and they the deepest on the compound with over 100 soldiers, and that they control the drug trade in here. Then he tell me, the ABs run the red tables over there. They only got 25 soldiers on the yard, but they got guards in their pocket, and they run the weapons trade. Then he tell me, the Lokes run the basketball court, and it's 50 of them on the compound, and that they dibble-dabble into a little bit of both. With you by my side, OG, I think we can take control of the compound. With my muscle in your brains, the sky is the limit. Just think about it. If you can get us a bag, I'll figure out a way to get it in here, and after that, everybody gonna fall in line. You real ambitious. You really think we can pull that off, little homie? Hell yeah, OG. I give you my word as a man. Just tell me what you need to get started, and I'll get it. It's over for these other gangs. It's our time now. Fuck them. All right, little homie, you got me convinced. So the first thing I'ma need is a phone so I can get in touch with my people. I'ma also need a shank too. I got $100,000 on my books. Is that enough to get started? Hell yeah, OG, that's more than enough. I'll have that shit tomorrow for you. Good. We gotta look into buying off some of these guards too. That'll make it easier for us to do business in here. All right, cool. I'll ask around and see what guards can be bought off. In the meantime, just watch your back. Jose gonna try to come at you again. Man, I ain't worried about that clown, little homie. Now let's take this bitch over. So later on that night, y'all, I'm in the shower by myself, trying to get clean before they lock us down, you feel me? Now while I'm doing that, Jose coming there with a shank and two of his lackeys. Yeah, puto, you know what time it is. Your boys ain't here now. I'm gonna gut you like a fish, home. Like I told you earlier, I'm a one-man fucking army. I don't need my boys here. If y'all niggas gonna do something, do it. But y'all better kill me in this bitch right now. Let's go. While we in there having our standoff, y'all real running there and get the poking all of them up. Man, OG, I told you they was gonna try to come at you again. You don't listen. If you die, our whole plan is ruined. That peace treaty officially off now, so get ready for a war. I'm gonna come holla at you in your cell tomorrow morning. Man, I owe Rio my life, y'all. He saved me two times in one day. I kind of felt like I let him down. So the next morning, I'm in my cell chilling when Rio come holla at me. What's up, homie? I'm sorry about last night. You good, OG. Shit happened. But I come to you with good news. I got the cell phone and shank for you. Damn, nigga. You work fast for real. Good looking. Now I just gotta make a few phone calls. Cool, OG. I'ma be on the yard. Just come holla at me when you get anything situated. These folks just didn't know that they fucked up. See, one thing about being a huster, we gonna always find a way to get it. With that girlfriend helping us smuggle things in prison, we was getting to it, y'all. She even helped us out and put a bug in some of the other guards' ear to get on payroll. But 
As you would guess, everybody ain't like that shit. We was stepping on toes. We had everything you needed. Weed, cigarettes, phones, tablets, pills, liquor, coke, lean, and shanks. All the ungang affiliated prisoners was coming to holler at us because we had the best prices. We had this shit moving like clockwork. I couldn't even believe how fast the stuff was going. Now, I don't like this shit. Go send a message to the blacks and tell them we need to have a meeting. This is our compound. No one's going to step on our toes. Now the whites would have said something too, but they didn't have the numbers to beef with us. Hey homeboy, my boss told me to deliver a message. Tell your bosses he wants to have a meeting. Yeah, alright SA, I'll let my people know what you said. That still don't guarantee nothing. If they know what's good for them, they'll agree. Hey cuz, that fool Birdo wanna have a meeting with y'all. They probably mad cuz of all this bread we making. I'll tag along if y'all need me to. What you think, Frank? It ain't nothing to discuss as far as I'm concerned. But you the big homie, and you the one getting the stuff in here. So it's your call. Fuck it. Why not? Let's go see what they got to say. Whatever it is ain't finna stop nothing anyways. Birdo probably think he can scare us or something. But I ain't never back down for no challenges. Alright, let's do it. What's up, Birdo? I heard you want to have a meeting with us. So what's up? Because I'm a very busy man with a lot of money to make. That's exactly why I called this meeting, homeboy. You think you can just come in here and fuck up the natural order and step on our toes? Listen, you fucks already took out three of my soldiers. But I'm willing to forgive that because I had told them to back down. Birdo, you talking to us like we bitches or something, homie. And that ain't gonna fly. You're right, puta, I am, so I'm gonna give you guys a little warning. Shut down your operation and I might forgive you. Or you can keep going and it'll be an all-out war on this compound. Your choice, homeboy. Man, Birdo, I don't take kindly to threats. I ain't back down from nobody on the outside and I definitely ain't finna start now. You tripping. Yeah, Frank, he definitely tripping, but we can go to war if that's what it is. Well, can't say I didn't give you a choice. You must think it's going to be easy. There's a reason we've ran this prison for the last 20 years, homeboy. Enjoy your last days, cause we're gonna bury you. Oh, this gonna be easy, Birdo. Don't flatter yourself. My team ready for whatever. You ain't the first clown to get in my way, and I doubt you'll be the last. Come on, gang. Let's get out of here before I lose my temper on this fool. Your choice, homeboy. If we was gonna win this war game, we needed allies. Rio told me the Bloods ran Unit 6. They was following this dude named Lil Punch. He also told me that the Hoovers was running 8B and they was under this older fool named Stains. I think we should unite all the black gangs on the compound. If we gonna have any chance of winning this war, Rio, with all our numbers, the Mexicans won't be able to fuck with us, homie. So what you want me to do, homie? Set up a meeting with them? That's exactly what I want you to do, cuz. We just gotta make them see that this alliance is not only gonna be beneficial to us, but they gonna win too. Just trust me. Alright, big homie. I'll put the word out there, but ain't no guarantee they gonna show up. 
We done had beef with them fools in the past, too. Yeah, I think they will, cuz. I know they done heard about all the money we making in this motherfucker. You know what, homie? When you put it like that, maybe they will. Now, while we talking, y'all, I peep my Sally Ralph. And I see some ABs approaching him. I don't know what's going on, y'all, but it looked like they just over there talking to him. When all of a sudden I see a shank come out. Hey, cuz, I'm finna go over there and see what's going on with my Sally. Hey, what's up, y'all? We got a problem over here or something? Cause I see y'all over here harassing my boy. He like, Frank, everything good, man. We was just over here playing, dog. Nothing serious. Yeah, we got a problem. Your boy over here owes us money. He's two weeks past due and it's time for him to pay up. Well, whatever money he owe, I can pay it for him. But what we not gonna do is this. Not gonna work. He has to pay us himself. I told y'all I was gonna have the money this Friday. See, y'all heard the homie. Y'all are having Friday, so leave it alone. Otherwise, y'all see my homie right here? All I gotta do is give him a nod, and he'll poke you and your boy up before you can even blink. All right, all right, take it easy. See you around, Ralph. You better never leave your buddy's side. I had just started another war protecting his ass, y'all. Man, Ralph, what the fuck was that, homie? You borrowing money from the ABs now? Man, Frank, I had to. My peoples got on hard times. I was starving before you came, homie. Well, Ralph, since this shit started about you, homie, I think it's time for you to get back in the field. You really ain't got a choice. You know if the ABs catch you dolo, you a dead man. And if you on the team, you ain't never got to worry about starving again, homie. You right, Frank. I was trying to leave this life behind, but now I'm fucked. All right, I'm rolling with y'all. Hey, cuz, the homie Ralph rolling with us again. That's Cool. Man, don't tell me you done started a war with the ABs over this dropout ass nigga right here. Look over there. And he already telling his boss about what happened, homie. Man, fuck the ABs, homie. They can't fuck with us by themselves, if that's what you worried about. But I couldn't just stand by and let them kill the homie. This ain't no free ride either. Cuz know he gotta pull his weight around here. I already told him. And if anything happen, I'm responsible for him. This a OG call, homie. So we good? Aight, Frank. He your responsibility. He fuck up. You gonna deal with him. I set that meeting up too, homie. Here they come. All right, listen up. The big homie got an opportunity for y'all. All right, blood. What's up? We listening, but I ain't got all day. Yeah, what he said, Rio. We busy men. All right, listen up. Ain't y'all tired of beefing over small pockets of this penitentiary when it's way more money to be made? I think we need to unite our crews and take it to the whites and Mexicans. With our numbers plus yours, it's an even playing field. And as some of y'all have already heard, I have an outside line to all the contraband we need to make money. I got guards on payroll already. All I need is y'all to agree 
and I'll even cut y'all crews in on the action. Or we can continue to beef like some low ass kids and let them keep control of the compound. It's your choice, homie. Yeah, I hear you, homie. But a lot of blood done been shed on this yard between us. So you gonna have to come with a nice cut for me and my crew to agree. Yeah, like he said, homie, we all got past beef. So them numbers better be right. I'm willing to get each of y'all crews access to all the contraband I get in here to sell in y'all units. And y'all get to keep 40% of what y'all make. Just think about all the money sitting in y'all accounts. We could be the three kings on this compound. Them numbers don't sound bad, blood. Three kings, huh? Yeah, I like the sound of that. Yeah, that three kings shit sound real nice to me, Groove. Okay, fuck it, you got a deal. I'm glad we could come to an agreement. I'ma go back to my crew and tell them it's a ceasefire between all us black gangs and a green light on all other gangs. I'ma go back and tell my crew the same thing. You right, we are stronger united than divided. It's nice doing business with y'all, Groove. Likewise, blood. Aye, Frank. We out of here. That shit sound good, big homie, but we gotta watch these niggas. Oh, trust me, cuz. I'm two steps ahead of you. I don't trust them niggas either. But they need us just as much as we need them. This shit just a means to an end. They get to touch more money than they ever have. And we get an army of over 100 soldiers on the compound, my nigga. It's a win-win. For sure, big homie. Talk fast, Gringo. What the fuck do you want? My boss says he wants to have a meeting with your boss in the cafeteria before a lockdown tonight, hombre. Pass the word along. Yeah, alright, Gringo. I'll deliver your message. Hey, Jefe, the AB said their boss wants to meet with you in the cafeteria the night before lockdown. All right, Thomas, I'm here for your little meeting. Well, Birdo, I'm glad you could join me. Seems to me we have a common enemy on this compound. And the little birdie told me that Franklin has united all the black gangs. So I think it's only right that me and you team up. All I ask for you to do is cut me in on a drug trade. Is that right? That motherfucker's smarter than I thought he was. And what do I get for cutting you in on my drug profits, Thomas? Well, I'm glad you asked. I can supply our soldiers with all the weapons we'll need. And I'll cut you in on our profits from the weapons trade. But we both know natural order has to be restored in here, Berto. I hate to say it, but you're right. With our gangs and resources combined, those motherfuckers won't know what hit them. Let's do it. I'll get the word out to my soldiers. You do the same. It's time to show these boys who the big dogs are. After that, y'all, all hell broke loose. Motherfuckers was getting poked up left and right in this bitch. Them fools knew we wasn't backing down, y'all, but neither were they. It's 
So two days later, we all in a mess hall eating. Tensions high. We was finna make a statement though. Show these motherfuckers what time it was. Y'all think this shit a game or you motherfuckers go lock it down now. After that y'all, they locked the whole compound down. So I'm in my cell trying to get some sleep, but my phone keep going off. It's my cousin aunt, so I pick it up and answer it. He tell me, man, cuz, I don't know how to say this, but Lamar dead. What nigga, is you playing with me? Hell no, cuz. You know I wouldn't even play with you like that. The Hoovers did it. What the fuck, aunt? I had to put the phone down for a minute cuz I couldn't believe what I had just heard. Hello? I'm sorry, cuz. I did everything I could. Well, nigga, you didn't do enough. You dead to me, aunt. Don't call this phone no more. Come on, cuz. You don't mean that shit. I couldn't believe this shit, y'all. My brother was dead, and I was stuck in here. It was nothing I could do to help him. I wasn't even gonna be able to go to his funeral, and this shit had me stuck. After thinking on it, I had revenge on my mind. After this war was over, we was crossing the Hoovers out. So I'm just sitting in my cell, thinking about how I can end this war as fast as possible. Because with Aunt pulling the plug on me, my supply was going to dry up soon. Everything had to be calculated at this point. When all of a sudden my phone started ringing, it was somebody I hadn't talked to in a while, but took care of while I was out on the streets. They told me that they had some evidence that could get me out of prison. I told her, say less. I'll have my people come collect it for me. Man gang, that shit brightened my whole day up. Now I had to kill these fools before they got me. At that same time, the homie Rio was having a meeting with the parole board. They was giving them a hard time at first. But by the time it ended, he had swayed them all to his side. They told the homie he was going home in a week. Once he got back to the cell, he told me the good news. Hey, good news, big homie. Your boy going home next week. Man, I can't believe it. I can't wait to get out there on them streets and do my thing again. That's what's up, little homie. I'm happy for you, cuz. Your lope might be getting out of here soon, too. But we still got a pressing issue at hand. We gotta win this war. Otherwise, we might not make it to sea freedom. You know I'm still front line for the cause, cuz. You got any ideas on where to start? Yeah, I got something in motion. But I want to try to see if we can work an alternative out. I'll fill you in more once we get on the yard, cuz. Alright, homie. So check this out. 
I'ma try to get Tom to break his alliance with Birdo. You really think that's gonna work, cuz? I don't know, man. That kind of move might make us look weak. It's a strategic move, Rio. So I can see where the enemy head at and gauge just how down Tom is with Birdo. And if it don't work, we can take him out too. Hey, cuz. Tell Tom Frank wanna have a meeting with him. No bullshit and nobody else. Man to man. What the hell do you want, boy? I ain't nobody's boy, motherfucker. I just came to deliver a message. Frank wants to have a meeting with your boss. Man to man, just the two of them. No funny business. I told them clowns what you said, Rio. Now, we just sit back and wait. Hey boss, Franklin the head of the crypt says he wants to have a meeting and to come along, no funny business. What do you want me to tell him? Fine, tell the savages I agree. But if I get a hint of any funny business, this whole yard goes up today. My boss agrees. He said meet him in the locker room in 30 minutes. And if you try anything, there will be a race riot on the compound today. Well, would you look at that, Rio? It worked. That's telling me he really don't want this war. What can I say, Frank? You was right. But do you really trust that fool? It could be a trap. Nope. But I got this cuz, trust me. Alright Frank, you got me here to your little meeting. So talk boy. First off time, I ain't nobody's boy. But I'm glad you took this meeting with me. I wanna talk to you about your little alliance that you got going on with Birdo. I think you should break that off and just bow out this war. Unless you wanna get hurt. Y'all can't win. And if you do, I'll cut you in on our weapons trade. Now this is a one time offer. So choose your response wisely. You gotta be dumber than I thought you were if you think I would ever work with your kind, boy. Then you threaten me? I'm just trying to give you a way out, Tom. Cause it's about to get real ugly for your side. His plan is already in motion. You know what? Fuck you and your proposition, boy. Stick it where the sun don't shine. You know, I could have you killed right here, right now. You didn't really actually think I came to this little meeting alone now, did you? Hey, Jimbo, poke our friend here up. <laughs> actually, Tom, I anticipated you would pull a slimy move like this. So I brought a little backup of my own here to our little meet. Now, if you feeling like you want to bust a move, go right ahead. We can all die right here, right now. It's your call. Well, let's go, Jimbo. And Franklin, next time I see you, boy, you're a dead man. So tread lightly. All right, Tom. We was going to see who was going to die first, gang. I ain't got no conscience. You know who in this car we gon' for show drop you. We don't do well with this. Now what they didn't know, gang, was that I already had the guards for this night shift on my payroll. She gon' let us all fuck, just keep beating the bitch. Let me tell you something you don't know about me. Hey Berto, the warden wants to have a meeting with you. He says it's urgent. Ah, what the fuck, Holmes? It's too late to be doing that. What does he want? Fine, here I come. I don't know, Berto. Just doing what I'm told. Fine, but Ramon comes too. The warden will meet you in there in 10 minutes. Ramon, keep a watch on the door. I'll be back soon, Holmes. If I'm not out in 20 minutes, come check on me.
Stop playing with us. You know the truth. Pull on rounds with me, chop out a hundred of you. I lay you in the one bitches. You fuck with them, you duck with them. I keep buying pump with me. We put white sheets over heads like comforters. I'm a greedy nigga. And All right, boys, the bird is in position. All right, bet. Ryan, why you do that? Give his shoes back. Rafi, why you do that? Hills with pies. We don't do cappers. Flu flammy. It's a devil R. We don't do jaguar. This is super spark with the Mac. That's a fast 90. Johnny with a bottle. Had the baptizing. Flatlining. I came in the stool. Niggas hella scared to rap by me. Whack rappers. These niggas be spoke when I pass by them. Nigga catch these bullets. Bitch, I'm mad. What the fuck is this, home? You got some fucking balls. You think you're gonna kill me right here? I'll have your whole gang slaughtered just like the pigs you are. You can't do this to me all right bird out that's enough now it's over for me let's cut all the bs right here right now we literally outsmarted you every move fucking real i should have known you were involved in this plot you little mutt if you're going to kill me just do it i won't beg you for mercy oh yeah bird out you definitely about to die i just wanted to see that look on your face before it happened and there it is Look at that fear in your eyes. You Any last words? Nothing to say to you, puto. Just know, when everything's over, I'll see you exactly where I'm going in hell, Rio. And when you get there, I'll be welcoming you with a huge smile on my face. So come on, do what your boss sent you to do. This ain't just weed. You broke, you a dumbass trying to be for me. Strip a nigga for everything, you can keep your sneeze. My niggas toe tags, we ain't trying to increase the peace. In the booth, I'm undefeated, I beat on beats. I don't know why you cut that rap, bitch, she's a freak. Your broke ass need to be a vegetarian, you don't need no beef. Bitch, to fuck with the plug, you don't need some cheese. This for the dumbass that thought he had a win on the plug. We know he ain't mean the shit he said, it's the drug. I keep lean perkins head of weed, cause I'm the plug. I'm just trying to see a hundred million, you won't love. Give me money and get perkins said, you gon' love it. He ain't never drinking money and selling juice, I wouldn't trust it. All I know is money and gang and then put nothing above it. They said they wanna go certain 50 niggas came with sticks on them. This for dumbass who tried to go against the team. This for dumbass who got to put up on the team. This for dumbass who tried hey, to Hey Frank, to that fool Birdo is no longer a threat. Ass it's ass gonna take them boys a while to recuperate from this loss. Good job, Rio. I knew I could count on you. But it's one more obstacle in our way, cuz. With Birdo gone. The biggest threat was out the way. And without that backing, it was open season on the ABs. And I had one more move to make. He's never coming back in that stack. That's a fun fact. In loving memory, dumbass number three. Damn it, I knew I should have killed that fucker Franklin earlier. So he sent you two here to kill me, huh? Well, okay, you got me, so you savages better make your move. He was trying to act so tough, gang. But y'all should have seen how his face changed when I walked in. Man, he looked like he had seen a ghost. Listen, fellas. It doesn't have to go like this. Hey Franklin, I accept your offer. The ABs are no longer a part of the war. Just call your dogs off of me. No, it's too late for that time. I gave you a way out earlier. And what you do, you spit in my face. It's time to put you down and take control of this compound. Hopefully, your successor sees my way of doing things right. But just admit before you die, that you got outsmarted by somebody that you thought was inferior to you. If you do that, then I promise to make all of this fast. Fine, you bastard. You got me. I give up. Hey, cuz, go stab him up.
man, I can't believe we really did it, girl. I didn't trust you at first, but I gotta say, you really had a plan and you executed that shit. And we the three kings of this compound. Yeah, this our shit now, man. I really appreciate your contribution to the cause. But now, it's time for you to die, homie. Man, what the hell was that, blood? Hey, listen, cuz. That was get back from my big brother being killed by his little homie and his gang. But with him out the way, you inherit this piece of this deal. We 50-50 on this compound now. And it's gonna look like they killed each other in this shower. We got any problems with this new arrangement, homie? Cuz I like you. But if you say anything about this, I'ma have to shut y'all down too. You ain't give a fuck, cuz. For real, anyways, homie. It's a win win for the Damus and the Keyways. Oh, fuck it, blood. I'm good with this new arrangement. Two kings on the compound. Good. Let's go before the guards get here. Man, gang. Things was looking up for you, boy. We just took down three prison gang leaders. I got a little get back from my brother. And it was looking like your boy was gonna be out this jam soon. Man, I couldn't wait to hit the streets again and take my rightful place as king of the game. Here I come, get ready. 